Steve Tober, Sideline Chatter, D1 Media Pro with Jim Williams, Big Jim, Plainfield. Jim, you did a great job your first year. A challenge, great tradition in Plainfield, a lot of history, but you guys put together a 500 season, which they haven't seen a lot of in the last several years. Yeah, we had a, we had a real good uh, season. You know, we had some good young guys, and, uh, you know, they believe they can win, so we put it together. First three games was tough, and then, uh, you know, we started getting on the roll. Yeah. yeah. What's the secret? Because you've done it a couple of programs now. Uh, we've come in and got them on the winning side. Uh, what's the secret when you come in as a new coaching staff? Well, the kids just got to buy in. Kids got to buy in. Kids got to believe in you. And, you know, once you show them you know football, know what you're talking about, they'll buy in. You, know? you came back from, from years ago from East Orange uh, as a coordinator on, on the defense. And it's a great year with Marion Bell, who was putting in the Hall of Fame in Essex County the other night at the Robeson Classic. But... Uh, your lineage has been a progressive one, and now you've, uh, you're coaching Union County. What do you see the biggest difference, like Essex and Union County football, if there is any? Uh, the big difference is um, the preparation. Preparation. You know, you got to prepare everything when you're playing in Union County. Nothing bad about Essex County, yeah. but Union County, you know, you got you got good good players, good coaches. You know, it's just preparation. That's it. Yeah, a lot of good coaches. DeSarno, Westfield, the Grasso Union. And now Fiore comes in at Elizabeth. You open with them. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be an interesting opener for Plainfield, and I'm sure you'll prepare your team, but uh, we'll see how, how Fiore does at Elizabeth and how they open up against the Cardinals. Yeah, you know, John is a good coach. John is a good coach. You know, he, he won at Montclair, and, um, you know, we got them in the opener. You know, thank God we got them first, you know. But he's going to get Elizabeth going, you know. <laughs> But um, also, you know, we're going to be there too, you know, so. Yeah, Jim, you've worked a lot on this North-South uh, Committee for the Sims Classic. We're, we're here at Kane University for the 2022 game. Uh, what about uh, the talent level in this game, which has been it's pretty good. The game's played earlier now in June. you got a lot of kids going off the one double A's, uh, Division Three NAIA, but the talent level is pretty strong in this game this year. Yeah, you know what? We haven't had this game in three years. So, you know, it's feel good to see some football, man, you know, once in a while. So uh, the talent level is good. You know, the reason why we put it up early so the kids could play. You know, when it was late, the kids couldn't play because they was going off to their prospective school. So we moved it up early. Now we got a lot of good kids that's, that's playing in the game. Behind the scenes, a lot of planning goes in this game. You guys seem to get better every year at putting this game together because it's really a 12-month-a-year 12, 12 process to make this game happen. Yeah, you know what, man, my hat goes off to George DeGrande. You know, he took over for Ken Trimmer. So, you know, George DeGrande, you know, he put everything together. And uh, I'm the GM for the North, and, you know, I just work hand-in-hand -hand with him. Well, Big Jim, I uh, wish you best of luck with the Plainfield Cardinals. Did a great job in 2021. I'm sure it's going to continue. Best of luck in the new season. Thank you. Big Jim Williams, head coach at Plainfield for D1 Media Pro and Sideline Chatter. I'm Steve Tober.